I'll quickly walk you through what I did. It's not really that complex. I started with a very simple mesh. You try and sort of match the main shape, move the vertices around, much like I did with the other models, and work in some uh, three-dimensionality into it. Uh, otherwise, the object will end up looking really flat and uh, synthetic. Uh, once you're happy with the, uh, with the main shape of the mesh, you can start adding some loops. Now uh, I won't because I already have enough of them to further define uh, the borders. Uh, this helps uh, especially when you're applying the subsurf. You can then mirror the image, uh, or rather the mesh. Uh, use a solidify modifier just to give it some depth. And you'll then add a subsurf so you'll obtain sort of a smoother shape. You can then move on to the inner metal detail. And this is actually just some uh, very simple meshes, mostly um, cylinders uh, with some extra vertex loops added. Uh, this final part, so this sits sort of inside the bulb, uh, two small metal plates. Uh, the only thing I did with these ones is um, worked in some uh, a little bend uh, so they would reflect light in a more interesting way again this will add to the realism overall uh, in the end what i did uh, for the bulb so you add a uv sphere 16 by 16 uh, bring it up and then uh, start working with it you turn on the proportional editing tool uh, start bringing everything down on the z-axis uh, like so uh, decrease the total influence distance keeping always true to the z-axis you can then keep working your way down and you'll see that at some point we'll have a bigger distance between these two loops so we can add one extra loop turn off the proportional editor scale it down a little so it sort of matches the shape we can also add another loop here scale it up a little and uh, pretty much you work your way down like this uh, until you have a satisfactory shape. So you can see that I just worked on it for less than a minute and it already partially matches the final model.